Hello, today I have uh, received my IMAX B6 charger. This is uh, not an uh, original IMAX B6, it's a clone or a copy of uh, IMAX B6. The box, the presentation, the colors all look the same. Uh, I'm going to test it if it's up to the job and if it uh, comes uh, close to the original IMAX. Uh, the most important thing that uh, this charger will not burn down your house or something like that. We need to test if it supplies the needed voltage and if it's safe to use. So this was bought from uh, Hobby King. Uh, they actually tell you and uh, also sell different versions of this original version and also a copy version. The copy version is cheaper. Uh, let's see if uh, this is uh, okay to use or not comes with a sticker to read the manual and uh, so on I can take them off so you have the power plug it can take from 11 to 18 volts it has a optional temperature sensor plug here a balancing port, battery port the same for button design screen Let's take off the protection screen here. I don't like this. Yes, then it's off. Right, so it comes with, let's see what it comes with. A manual. It comes with a manual that looks identical with the IMAX B6 manual. Probably a copy of the same manual. It also has some uh, plugs here. This one for power supply, this is a jack, these are alligator clips, you can use this to connect the charger to a car battery or something like that. Various plugs and also this one to connect a battery to the charger. Right, uh, to power this I'm going to use a simple uh, 12 volt power supply, I'm gonna use also a new battery lipo battery that is this one it's a cp500 compact battery uh, also to have a check on the voltage i'm gonna use a hobby king cell key checker uh, you are going to see this in another video review it's very simple to use you just plug it in and it will show you the total voltage like this uh, cell voltage individually and so on so I'm gonna unplug this I'm going to prepare the charger I'm gonna use the connectors here uh, I'm gonna plug this here and this one here, connect this here. This battery has a GST plug so I can connect it to the GST plug adapter, connect it and also the balance port to the 3S connector. Okay, so the battery is connected, I'm gonna take this apart. Also, you must uh, take attention for the alligator clips not to touch themselves. I'm gonna put it one of them away like that. Alright, so I'm going to plug in the power, the so 12 volts power supply. I'm going to zoom in for you to see better. Alright, so I'm going to select battery type, it's a LiPo battery, you can select various types of battery, so it's a LiPo battery, uh, from here you can select its uh, voltage and the mode. I want to 
select lipo charge all right you can select the current and also the total cell voltage this one it's uh, 3s voltage so i'm going to select 3s voltage 11.1 volt volts so it's okay so uh, this one it's a 500 milliamps battery uh, good practice is to charge it at uh, 1c this means uh, 0 0.5 amps for a charge so we'll select a lower current here 0 0.5 amps the voltage remains so oh, to start the charge you need to keep this pressed uh, now the charger will check your battery and says that it has uh, uh, detected that you have uh, set three uh, cells and it detected three cells so you can press this to confirm if it's okay and it has started charging your battery and uh, I can check the status now it shows each individual cell voltage you can see the voltage is varying 385 387 and it's uh, closed so we we'll leave it to charge and uh, then we'll also check it with the key to validate the voltage so the charger shows 387 volts 3.87 volts uh, it charges with uh, 0 0.1 amps current it has decreased the current from the setup from uh, it was set up at 0 0.5 amps now it uh, runs at 0 0.1 amps total voltage is 11.63 volts and uh, you can also check uh, this one is a capacity limit safety timer i don't have a temperature sensor and this is the input voltage in the charger right so if i turn this off now it shows 3.87 now i'm gonna shut it off i'm gonna disconnect it i'm going to unplug the balancing port i'm going to connect this to the charging key this one connects like this and let's see what voltage it is shows as three cells 11.6 volts 386 385 387 so it's very close to what this has indicated so it's uh, running well for now uh, we are going to test it uh, further with other batteries and uh, to the maximum voltage in uh, another video soon bye bye